The problem is that we Americans have been funding communist China's rise and their evil plots to destroy America. It sounds incredible. And frankly, when I first started talking about this over a dozen years ago, nobody believed me. But this past year, people have begun to wake up to the truth, and you've played an important part in that. For a quick history lesson, let's look at China. About 20 years ago, the Chinese economy was one-tenth the size of ours. They were smaller than Italy. Today, according to the International Monetary Fund, China's economy has surpassed ours. How have they done that? Well, they've done it with stolen intellectual property. They've been bribing officials. They had invested in the Clinton campaign. They took over Hollywood. They have their Belt and Road Initiative to bribe foreign uh, governments. They have unrestricted warfare that they've used against us. They're basically waging an economic war. And they're using our money against us. That's their history. But we have a history, too. The Economic War Room, you date it back, we've written books, testified before Congress, consulted at the Pentagon, and we've produced a lot of episodes that you've seen, you've downloaded the battle plans, and you've learned how we can fight back against China. You've been a big part of this. So episode six, which that one was China RX with Rosemary Gibson. We talked about how China was controlling our medical supplies. And guess what? Uh, there have been executive orders and there have been efforts to re-onshore, to bring back production of our medicines. Episode 13, 16, 35, 41, 45, 47, 57, 60, 65, 69, 82, 84, 89, 91, 93, 97, 105, and 107. I may have even missed a couple of those. We have covered this topic extensively, whether it's about 5G or whether it's about Chinese medicine or the space warfare or what they may be doing to influence your kids or bringing drugs into our country. We've covered it, and we've featured top experts like Gordon Chang, Steve Bannon, Rosemary Gibson, General Rob Spaulding, Roger Robinson, General Stephen Quast, Bill Gertz, Dave Bratt, these are the top experts in the field. And we've explained just how their underwriting of your telephone systems, the 5G network and development, their acquisition of Silicon Valley and how they bought up into key industries and stolen the technology, Hollywood and how they've influenced bought, buying up now. It's more important to Hollywood that the uh, Chinese market likes our movies better than the American market and they've infiltrated American universities using Confucius Institutes and Chinese students. In fact, the administration for some of our top schools in the United States are more, more beholden to China than they are America because they want those Chinese students. They pay full tuition and they bought influence. And you'll read all the time about there's a spy operation inside a university where they were putting out our secrets. We've written economic battle plans to address all of these threats, and we have had some huge wins from this. For example, the Thrift Savings Plan was about to take money from our service men and women and invest it in Chinese companies, and we threw a fit about that. We covered it in episode after episode. We did a special episode uh, just on that, and we released it free, and we used it basically as an infomercial to tell our government no. And guess what? They said no. They decided not to do that. It was a major breakthrough, something that they said could not be done. We did another special episode because the Ant Financial Group was about to IPO and they were going to work with American banks and they were going to bring American money into Ant Financial through an IPO in Hong Kong and Shanghai that was going to fund their development of financial technology that would really under write, you know, underwrite a lot of the stuff that would be used against us. They're planning to build a digital currency electronic payment platform with our money that would undermine our economy. Well, they pulled it. They stopped it. It's kind of amazing. And they stopped it internally, but I'm certain that our pressure, we did a, a campaign to tell the big banks, don't participate. I'm certain our pressure had a role in that. And then there was the Kennedy bill in the United States Senate that passed 100 to 0, demanding that Chinese companies listed on our markets had to produce accounting according to our accounting standards. I mean, it's unimaginable that it's not the case already, 
But guess what? The Kennedy bill was 100 to nothing, bipartisan, in the U.S. Senate, and we played a role in making that happen. We're hoping the House will take that up, and they likewise will pass it, and the president will sign it so that they have to conform to our accounting standards.